We are back in the shop and today's episode focuses on a very important part of the car. Uh, we are going to be welding all the doors shut today and if we have time we will also be getting our rear uh, we wheel wells that's hard to say we will be getting our rear wheel wells cut and folded and re-bolted so the first thing that we are going to do here before we start on the driver door is um, this is a little bit where my tape measures at but this bar here is the main bar for the cage protection but um, what I don't like about it is 24 inches is actually kind of underneath it and 24 inches is where most of your opponent's bumpers are going to be sitting at. So what I'm going to do to take care of that is I'm going to cut a hole here and a hole here and I will run uh, another bar just like this inside of that and just weld it around and weld it around. And that'll be my protection at 24 inches. Um, then I'll cut a channel out of the inside of the door there to leave that open so that this can still be closed. Then once this is closed, we'll do our normal welds uh, to shut that. Uh, and then um, a piece of this diamond plate will actually also plate the door so um, we will get started I have to cut um, a piece of this square tubing here this is the piece of steel that's gonna go inside the door um, to protect me at 24 inches and uh, so I'm gonna get that cut down I'll get this measured get this cut down and uh, put it in like I said 24 inches um, so right about here is where we're going to want to center the steel. Um, it's a two by four, so I think we'll cut two inches up and two inches down. That'll be our four inch and then we'll cut two inches out. And then for length, we want to go about an inch and a half inside each end. So to do that, we are going to cut a piece that is 40, 42 and a half inches. Hopefully those door bolts aren't too long and don't get in our way. We will see. 42 and a half. So I got one hole cut here. I think I might have to So two by four should slide right in there and now I'm just going to do the same on this side and then we'll slide this guy in here. So we've got we've got two holes. Let's see how this baby fits in here. Hopefully, I got the holes right. Looks like we're gonna have to go with this one first, maybe. Oh, it's gonna be tough. Oh, with this door here, it's gonna be real tough. Oh yeah, guys. 
guys, I don't know. We might have to figure something out because with this uh, this door here, it is really making it tough. But size-wise, I think it's going to be perfect. Uh, I just need a way to get it in there. Here we go. Boom. All right. Very close. I'm having a hard time getting this piece in here. What I'm gonna do to alleviate this is for right now, I'm gonna cut my channel in the doorway all the way across so that this door will close. And then once I'm done with that, then all the cutting that I wanna do will be done. I'll grab the welder and I'm gonna weld something here that I can hammer so that I'll just go right on in, so. So there was a bracket that hooked to this big gear thing here. So I tried a couple times unsuccessfully just to cut through the whole gear, but apparently I was able to get the bracket. So we shove that up there like that. And then we're pretty pretty close. Uh, being able to close this door I've got to do something about that front piece and uh, I'm also going to cut into this a little more and fold it in back and forth between the cutting wheel the hammer the pry bar and the sawzall we now not only have our steel piece in where we want it, that's gonna get welded up around the sides there. We've also got the door channel cut. So this can now um, close. I don't know, hopefully you can see that in there. There's, there's my bar. That'll protect me from hits, uh, bumper hits coming at 24 inches. Uh, and then this is the cage proper. So I've got protection. Uh, I'm pretty happy with this and then you know above this obviously the door itself the outer skin will be plated so I'll, uh, I'll get to welding this up and uh, then we'll start cleaning up uh, areas for door welds Everywhere I'm going to weld on the driver's side, I've got cleaned up now, so I'll cut a few pieces of strap and uh, get those kind of ready to go. When I come back, uh, I'll weld in. I still have to weld in our, uh, our bar, our last bar here, so. Here's what she looks like. I uh, welded the seams on both sides and over there as well, so this will not slide back and forth. Um, so that frees us up now to close these doors and uh, get started with the strap.
driver's side complete. Got that whole bottom welded. I had to put an additional piece of strap in there because there was such a huge gap. Uh, but that's okay, this is driver's side, so we're allowed to reinforce. So it should still keep me legal. Uh, one going up. A little gap in the middle there, but I was just trying to get rid of a couple pieces that were just weird sizes. Got a nice piece across the bottom there. And a nice piece here. And then use this piece. Uh, there's a door gap there that I took care of. So now we'll get started on the, the passenger side. Well, we're getting ready to start on the passenger side of this door welding project. And to make it a little easier on myself, because I found out that these really don't hammer too well, I tend to just hammer the body, the door panels in. I actually am just pre-bent these. So this will hopefully make it a little bit easier. I won't have to hammer as much. So I got this cut and bent for uh, the front door. And I got this smaller one cut and uh, bent for the uh, back door. And then I'm about to cut just this small piece. We'll do the same as we did on the other side with just a small piece here. So, um, should go pretty nicely. And uh, so I'll give you, a, I'll show you what that's gonna look like here in a second. Got all the surfaces prepped for welding on the passenger side. And if I didn't mention this before, you know, it's just a good idea to do that because um, although a lot of times you'll be able to weld right through the paint, it just makes it harder when you got paint flaking up from getting welded on. Uh, and it can just cause weird stuff to happen with your welder and starts little fires and just makes it more messy overall. So recommend cleaning these up. So last step on the passenger side is to get the plates welded on. So here goes. Passenger side is complete. A little gap there, but no big deal. That won't hurt anything. Got that in there and that up there. So now that I've got the driver's side and the passenger side done, I'll get to work getting these fender wells cut and rebolted. So um, I'll get chopping on those. So I've got the passenger side marked, the way that I'm going to uh, fold and rebolt these fenders. This little piece right here is just going to get hammered that direction. Um, we're going to cut this, this is going to go that way. Uh, we'll cut here and here and then this will get folded up. Same, same, same. Um, actually, I can even do more than that because that's only four. So I messed this up guys. Um, I did mess this up, so I will remark these. Okay, we fixed our markings and we went ahead and made our cuts. Now I'm going to start with the, uh, with the pliers to give it a little bit of bend and then, um, finish it off with a hammer, fold it up and over, then we'll drill through and bolt each of these five we're allowed five bolts per fender well so here's what they look like all hammered up um, that's still got to get hammered up inside there these go this way started this one but this has got to go that way and then I'll use I don't know I'm not really interested in using any of the existing holes um, except maybe this one um, I'm going to try to bolt fairly close to the bottom of the fold. 
Um, so we'll we'll see. I'll drill these out and then uh, show you you guys what it looks like with the uh, just before I put the bolts in. Okay, holes drilled. Here's the hardware. GoPro died, so I've been doing this on my phone. Apologies. Um, let's see. He's all ready to go. These bolts are a little long. Um, I'm gonna cut them down. Uh, after I torque all these babies down, um, So I need two hands to do that, so I'll be right back. And there is the finished product with all of them, uh, all the uh, bolts cut down. Um, like I said, I just have to hammer that up in there. Not hard, as you can see and uh, hammer that one back against the wall and we'll have a nice clearance. I'm going to emulate the same on the other side, but for purposes of this video, um, I think you guys have a good idea of what this setup looks like. It's pretty easy to do. Um, so that's it for this episode. Um, like I said, we got our door welds taken care of. When we do end up mounting the front fenders, we, uh, we will have to go back in there and weld the front of the door to the back of the fender, but uh, we won't be putting the fenders on until the new motor comes in. And so uh, that'll be a future video. So thanks for watching and uh, feel free to leave me some feedback in the comments. Thanks everybody.